right on the tender. You excited? Yeah? What are you most excited about? Sorry? Yeah, what are you most excited about about this free island? About your hair? You're gonna get some braids? Mystery Island. No, thank you. Really good way of welcoming to the island. The island is tiny. It's um, about a kilometre in length and about 100 metres wide. Um, so getting to one side to the other, it's very, very quick. We're just heading to where the, the market is. That's very cool, isn't it? Thank you. Do you want to get a photo, Carissa? Come on. Come for daddy. <laughs> she doesn't want to leave. Can I have a hot leg? Ow. Thank you. Oh, that's a good start to the day. Yeah. They were amazing. They liked you. Oh, yeah. That was really fun. Yeah? Yeah. He does. So this is something that Chris has been waiting over three years for. To finally get her hair into cornrows. And um, Tynan's having a go as well. Why not? YOLO. <laughs> I might struggle with mine. Sean might struggle with his. I get my little tuft done. You get your tuft done? Yeah. Right at the front? <laughs> And yeah, some ve obviously very, very cheap prices. So we'll we'll obviously pay a little bit more than this because that's that's just too cheap. I don't don't feel comfortable with only spending twelve twelve dollars on on cornrows for her. So Tynan Tynan has finished. What an amazing job. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> so we are halfway through the corner rows. Don't do this. Don't do this. They're looking really good, darling. So Carissa has finished the corner rows. Do you want to do us a little bit of a twirl? Maybe a bit of a slower twirl than that, so. Wow, that looks amazing. <laughs> so we come to the to the back beach, which obviously is not far at all. Um, a lot less people on this one, but this is surrounded by a coral reef, while the one behind us is only partly surrounded by it. Is it warm? It's kind of warm. Wow. It's a it's a little bit cold. This is just just a gorgeous little island.
currently, Carissa, are you going to look scared for us? <laughs> Another photo opportunity. When she finally gets off. We're just having a look at the, um, no, the, the, we're just going to have a look at the rest of the market. Just having a look at the um, the Mystery Island market at the moment. Now going towards the um, the eastern tip of Mystery Island. Um, most of the people who have been um, on the island probably haven't been over this way. There's a lot of people over here. But yeah, that looks um that looks pretty relaxing. But I think you have to pay money to do that. Yeah, I think so. And that, that, that man's getting a um, a foot massage. Wind has certainly picked up, but this is paradise. This has definitely been the highlight of the cruise so far. Unfortunately, all of the massage huts are all booked out. Um, we probably left it a little bit late. We didn't get off the boat until about just before 11 o'clock. So. Uh, and we did some other things first that were pretty important, so we missed out, unfortunately. Um, we're probably in our last half an hour of being on the island, and it's easily been the highlight of our cruise so far. In the t behind me, you can see just the colour of the water, how beautiful it is. Um, hair braiding is a, is a must for kids. Even I saw plenty of adults getting it done as well. Um, the hair braiding, in my opinion, is way too cheap, so my opinion would be to um, pay what you feel you should be getting charged. For instance, you saw um, the job of Chris's hair, they're only charging $12, you know, $12. I would feel quite uncomfortable if I gave them $12 for, uh, for, that, for that job, so we gave them $25. Um, and I would assume that a lot of other people would do the same. Um, they do have some food on the island, packets of twisties and, and stuff like that. Um, they have um, like a, a chicken grill, like a barbecue going. That finished by the time we kind of had a swim and stuff like that. Snorkeling, I would suggest go to the back beach, okay? So when the, the ship um, brings you up to the jetty, that's the front beach. The back beach is where the coral reef is. And um, you'll see from the video uh, that, Sh that Sean took, uh, that the even 10, 15 meters out from the shore, there is some amazing marine life. So you have to do snorkeling. Snorkeling is an absolute must. They do hire out all the snorkel gear and stuff like that. So you don't need to bring your own. Uh, it's, I think it was about $15 to hire a set, which is very, very reasonable. Um, yeah, so what, what we did, we had breakfast, we've come off the ship, we're going to have an early dinner, so we're not really going to eat much. There's not a lot of food options available on the island, um, but it's been a beautiful day, it really has. And, um, so I don't want to go to New Mia tomorrow. We're having two trips to New Mia on this cruise. Uh, much prefer to just come to Mystery Island again tomorrow and have a chilled out day. Give you an idea of just the beauty that this place has. So in the distance, in the distance, that's obviously the other island. That's not actually Mystery Island. So the beach goes around and just to the tip there, that's where Mystery Island finishes. But all my dad is Yes. Oh. Yeah, we'll go to the tip of the island and then we'll walk back. 
when you actually look at Mystery Island on Google Maps, you'll actually find that most of the island is taken up by this, an airfield. Because Mystery Island is very, very flat compared to, as you can see, the island next to it, which is very mountainous and would kind of struggle to get a decent airfield in there. That's actually a Give, decent view of the ship. Gives you a good view of the ship. And it's time to get off the island. Goodbye, Mystery Island. You've been fun. Okay, and we've we've now started to depart Mystery Island. And today is our last shore day and um, a lot nicer today. We're here in Numea. Uh, we're doing the hop on, hop off bus, open top bus, $15 for the day. I think there's about six stops. They come every 20 minutes. Uh, we think we might do the aquarium today. We're also maybe gonna stop at Lemon Beach. Um, the weather today, the view of the marina is really, you know, really quite nice. The city's not so nice to look at, but yeah, let's, um, hopefully there's room still up the top for us. Most of our shops are going to be closed in the sea. If you want to do some shopping, it's mainly going to be at the shopping mall shop results where it also closes at midday. All right, we have decided that we are going to get off at the market. Mr. Bob on the market. On the market. As you heard there, morning market. Dodging cars. Okay, this is the morning market, which is probably uh, just over a ten-minute walk from the the cruise the cruise tourist area, anyway. Okay, yeah. Decided. Decided to try a, a crepe beach, freshly made. Three for 800, 800 francs, which is about $10. Okay, got our chocolate crepe. <laughs> Let's see how it tastes. Okay, get the chocolate off of my lips. That's really good. That's good, really good. So we've just got off the bus at Lemon Beach. So Lemon Beach is the only beach in New Mia that is actually open at the moment due to a few shark attacks. Um, but we'll have a look when we get further down there. But the, um, the shark net that the, they've got around the beach is really quite small. So from what I can see, you can only go out around about 10 or 15 meters. But this is kind of a very vibrant area with 
lots of cafes and restaurants and stuff like that so it's a really popular area okay, this gives you an idea you can see how far out these shark nets go to so yeah you can't go out very far up to not even to your waist that guy who's out there you can just see it coming up to just just uh just his upper leg really they don't know when beaches are going to reopen but yeah they've had a really bad run of shark attacks okay we're uh we're at lemon bay at the moment and we've stopped at a what's it called la barca la barca it's a bar ice creamery and i've ordered a coconut milkshake So we had a drink and um, we think we're going to, just had a little bit of a trip there, maybe I should watch where I'm going. We're going to go and have a look at the aquarium, which is on the, it's just around from Lemon Bay, Lemon Beach. And um, yeah, it's on the hop on hop off bus. All right. And we start the aquarium tour. Oh, hold on, we'll go through this way. 1,600 francs to get in here, which is around about $20 Australian. There is a lookout just up here. Yeah, okay, that looks pretty awesome. Okay, as we overlook the beautiful New Mia docks. Um, that second day in New Mia, a lot better than we thought it was going to be. We just wanted a bit of a chilled day, so we hop on, hop off bus, cost us $15 for the day. Um, stopped off at the market, just caught the end of the market, which was good. Went around to Lemon Beach, um, had a bit of a walk on the beach, had a, you know, sat in. Uh, a restaurant for a little while, a little while, had a drink, and then went to the aquarium, um, and then yeah, got back on the boat at three o'clock. Um, there is a, a bit of a, a. Some people say they don't like New Mia. It's dirty, and I've kind of seen that myself. But there are some really, really nice parts of New Mia. If you if if you want to have a really good experience. 
don't spend your time in the centre of the city. Um, downtown New Mia is a bit grotty, to be totally honest. But that's not where the that, that, that's not where the vibrant part of New Mia is. Go around to Lemon Bay, places like that. Um, and yeah, yeah, it was beautiful around there. Um, where the aquarium is, which is around about 100 metres from uh, Lemon Beach, um, there's a really good look out, out up, up there, which you, you would have seen um, on this vlog. So yeah, we've had a really, really good day today. Ship sails tonight. We've got two more full days uh, at sea. 80s night tonight, which will be really enjoyable. And um, yeah, back in, get back into Sydney on Wednesday morning. So hopefully the next two days are really enjoyable. Here we are, 80s night, 80s pop to the max show. Don't we all look beautiful? Sean's come as somebody who doesn't look much like the 80s. Looks more like Woodstock or something like that. Meatloaf. 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 John Lennon with a wig. <laughs> Heading up to the glow party. Carissa, Cherie, Sean and Tynan are already up there. Okay. Boys tonight I can already hear the fun ha being had. Sorry boys.
our second last sea day um, until we get back to Sydney. We currently have some five more ducks that we're going to hide um, but we're trying to find somewhere that is kind of where people aren't around to see us hide them. Um, where do you want to go? You want to go go down the level? Yeah. All right so we've decided just outside the Red Frog, sorry the Red Frog pub they're gonna put one up there. Okay. Carissa has decided to put one just down there. Put him right in the corner. Put him right in the corner so people. Because people would sit. All right. Okay. So we're up on deck 10 at the moment and one's gonna go right there. So we're on deck 10 still and I'm gonna hide one just up there. Oops, sorry darling. Hold on, somebody coming. Is there anyone coming?
And welcome back to Sydney Harbour. Um, beautiful, beautiful cold morning. It looks like it's going to be a lovely day. Okay, so that's the end of our cruise. We've had just such an amazing time. Uh, highlights for me, the stops Mystery Island was the most incredible stop. Absolutely love that. Uh, would have been great if we had a, a second stop that wasn't, uh, sorry, a third stop that wasn't New Mia. Having two stops in New Mia was a little bit boring, but you know, we still made the most of that third day. Um, the ship itself, um, there's a little bit of negativity about the Carnival Splendor online, uh, especially on, on forums online. Um, uh, decks three and four are a little bit difficult to get around because there's a, uh, there's restaurants blocking them, um, which aren't a thoroughfare. Um, but you've just got to get your bearings around the ship, around that part. If you're on three and you know you can't get to the back, just go up to five and, and move across. Um, the only bit of negativity that I can kind of bring up is the fact that obviously Carnival are struggling to get staff. Either that or that they have to get back on top after, after COVID. They're not taking on as many staff. I don't know which one it is, but um, the, the lack of staff was showing. Um, we had anytime dining, which means that we can eat whenever we like in the main dining room, but we have to check in first and then we get told when our table is ready. Uh, when I was cruising on the Carnival Spirit, you know, I, I did two cruises with them a few years ago. Um, there was no more than a 10 minute wait. A couple of times we waited an hour uh, during this cruise and then you get into the dining room and you see that it's half full. So obviously there's not the staff to cope with a full dining room. Um, the staff though are amazing. Um, the entertainment staff are absolutely fantastic. Can't speak more highly of them. Uh, Carissa, my daughter, absolutely loved Kids Club. Um, she probably spent half of her time there. Absolutely loved it. Um, so yeah, that's it. Absolutely love this. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Thank you for watching. Um, if you've liked the vlog, just give us a thumbs up or a subscribe. Uh, be greatly appreciated. Um, and see you next time.